everybody, my name is Gabrielle and I just wanted to talk to you about something that I have learned very recently and it has been incredibly encouraging to me and I hope it's encouraging to you. I hope it brings you specifically some peace in this time. Perhaps if you're going through any sort of anxiety or nervousness with everything going on or maybe you're not, but I hope that what I'm gonna just share with you briefly here would just be something you can kind of put away um, you know, in your heart and pull it out whenever you need it in the Lord. So. Uh, I just wanted to say that what I'm going to share is going to mirror very similarly to what Cynthia Shawflet put out in a video devotional on this channel just a few days ago. So if you had not had a chance to watch that, go ahead and do that as soon as you're done watching this video. It's a beautiful devotional. A lot of great devotionals are going up there on our channel, and I encourage you to listen to all of them. But uh, that specific one is very similar to what I'm speaking on. That video is about the rest of God. And so it mirrors what I'm speaking about here today. But basically, if you have been around the church for a long time, and I don't just mean our church, I just mean, you know, the body of Christ, you probably know about the names of God. And there are many of them, and they are all so beautiful. And if you've never had a chance to study them, I encourage you to study them. It's actually one of the first things I ever studied uh, when I was uh, being, when I was preparing for being a pastor, actually, for ministry. And it it's something I return to often. It's just a beautiful thing to study and you don't have to be a Bible scholar to study it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful um, element of God to study are his, the names of who he is. Uh, so the, one of the names is Jehovah Rapha, which means the Lord, our healer. And that is one of the most beautiful names of the Lord. And obviously in this time, how much more so do we need to call on that name because of the healing that we need in our in our world, not just physically because of this virus, but emotionally, a lot of people are lonely, uh, economically, you know, just you name it, we need his healing. And I've always known that name and I've always latched onto that name, but I learned very recently, just as this COVID-19 thing started happening through a pastor that I watch from time to time, what the root word of the word heal means in the Bible, and I'm gonna show you. So I'm not a teacher, so bear with me, but we have here the word Rapha, which means heal. And we just spoke about that, and that's how we have the name, the Lord our healer. So in Hebrew, which that's a Hebrew name, there's always a root word. And the root word, I'm not gonna say it right, but it's Rapha. It almost sounds very similarly, but it just has a little bit more of a to it. It's, you know, Hebrew. So you got the going. So it's that Rapha. And I know I probably didn't say it right, but you can, you don't know how to say it either. Right? So it's fine. Both we're good either way. But guys, do you know what the root word of it is? The root word of heal is relax. Isn't that beautiful? I never knew that. The root word of heal, Rapha, which sounds very similar and even is almost spelled similar, is the word relax. I don't know about you, but that heavily encourages me. And I don't know about you, but I am sure that if you call Jesus your Lord and Savior, you can look at what your life could have been without him or what it was before you knew him. And for me, I know what my life would have been without the Lord. I would have been a person so, so driven by anxiety and by the grace of God, he has saved me. And even now in my, you know, I'm a child of God. Even now I could have a tendency if I'm not careful um, to steer towards that nervousness and the Lord steers me back. And I am telling you now as I am so, I was so excited to hear not only um, is his name, the Lord, our healer, but he literally, I, he heals us from the inside out. He literally cares about what's going on within us, that storm within, like Pastor Walt was talking about uh, last Sunday. He calms the storm within. It's literally in his name. And that is so beautiful and so encouraging. And so I hope that that encourages you. And as you're going about your day and you're hearing the news and you're hearing the, the rough stuff that's going on, I'm not saying that we just ignore that and we pretend like it's not going on, but what I'm saying is the Lord is with us. And he never said it was going to be easy in this life, but he said he would never leave us or forsake us. And he causes us to rest in him despite the storm going on around us. He calms the storm within us so that we don't have to be people driven by anxiety and fear. And by his grace, we are redeemed in him. So I encourage you guys to relax in the Lord today. 
Cynthia mentioned in her devotional about Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. How much more so does that verse now mean when we learn that he literally, in his name, he causes us to relax, you know? So I hope that encourages you. Latch on to the Lord today. He loves you. And as you're claiming his word, if you're speaking out Psalm 91, which actually my husband and I have been doing every single day, and we pray it over you guys as a church family, over our students at Cutting Edge, over our family members, over our friends, anyone who watches this video, even if you don't know you, we're praying for you. We pray Psalm 91 over you guys in this time. Don't do it out of a, a place of anxiety because sometimes we can do that without knowing it it can kind of be like oh he who dwells in the secret place of the most high and you kind of get tense and I'm not talking about having passion and I'm very passionate so that's beautiful but do that and claim his word out of a place of relaxation in him knowing that we are in the palm of his hand he's got us he's not leaving us and even on the darkest of days he's here and um yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to share. So I hope that encourages you. I love you all so much. Bye.